Welcome back to beautiful Nicaragua. Today we're walking towards my friend's house here in Ocotal because we're gonna be heading up to his coffee farm. It is coffee season here in Nicaragua. So in this video is gonna be a travel vlog. We're gonna drive up to his farm and go see how the season's moving along and actually get to tour his farm because this farm it's pretty pretty spectacular because it's right underneath Nicaragua's tallest peak which is El Cerro Mogotón so it's going to be incredible it's going to be very picturesque a lot of good scenery and some good coffee good people so it's going to be pretty cool to see this adventure here Are you one of the yeah I think we're ready here we made it to the house Buenos días, Silvio. Buenos días, ¿cómo está esto? ¿Cómo está? Pase adelante. Gracias. Ah, sí, o sea, ya. Sí, sí. No vengo tarde, ¿verdad? No. No, todo tranquilo. Tranquilo. Oh, ok. Alright, we're about to head out right now. We're taking two trucks. Taking this old school Land Cruiser and the Hilux. Because we need to bring down some coffee from the mountain. Plus, we have other people with us. So. Entonces, manejo esta. Sí. Ok. So we're currently at a coffee processing plant right now here in Ocotal and we're picking up some baskets that we're going to use to bring down coffee cherries from the mountain. Entonces, ¿cuántas cajillas le traes aquí, Silvi? ¿Cuántas cajillas? Aquí más o menos le he montado hasta casi 80 y pico de cajillas. Wow, 80, bastante. Sí, he traído 155 latas en uva. Ah, 105, wow, pesa, pesa bastante Pesado. y es bastante. Varias veces se me ha dañado la camioneta medio camino, pero... Now that the truck's loaded over there, before we leave this processing plant, I wanted to show you guys. This is actually Silvio's coffee drying right here. And this is what we're gonna go get from the mountains right now. You can see these coffee cherries. They're gonna spend a few days on the sun here and then they go under shade over there. But it smells amazing. This is where I wish YouTube had like smell a vision or something, but oh my God, I just love that smell. I can't wait to taste this coffee because when they do naturals, it just brings out those unique flavors. But he has a lot of coffee drying here. Take a look around me in the back right there. Everyone's just moving his coffee, taking good care of it because quality starts at the farm. So now that we got the boxes packed for the coffee cherries, we got his cherries on the floor. Let's head up to the mountains to go check out how the season's going and see how things are moving there. Ahora sí ya estamos listos. Vea, se mira super bien ahí. Vamos. Come on baby, let's go west. Let's go west to the promised land. Take my hand again. Load up the car and drive real far. I could play for cash at the Walmart. Don't think twice. We're on the way to the farm right now, but I want to show you guys something that's just beautiful. It's, it's an incredible view of the Mosonte River just running through the mountains here. Take a look at that. guys we made it to the farm here uh, and we're about to start cooking because the workers are up in the mountains and Silvio likes to cook for his workers when they come down so he preps them a good meal so let's see what they got going on in the kitchen here y hoy que estamos preparando hoy entonces para cocinar vamos a hacer una ensalada un arrocito frijolitos cocidos y carnita asada ah, y un chimolito rico all for the workers here so they can have a good meal when they come down they spend all day up in the field so 
it's hard work, you know, and it's actually cool that they really appreciate their workers here and they, they cook for them, right? So that's actually kind of rare. We're heading up to uh, the mountains right now. All the workers have been co picking coffee all through the morning. So right now we're gonna go pick up the coffee that they've been putting into their sacks and working hard on. So let's jump in the truck and let's head up. Yeah, we just got stuck right now going up. Uh, it's a little bit slippery here, so we're trying to make it up this mountain here. You know these old school land cruisers, they never die. You sometimes you just gotta step on them just so they can pick up and get out, get you out of trouble. One day in la vida de un cafetalero. Can't you wait for the young to have their say? By the time that we think to run, it's too late and our bodies crumble just like quiet buildings at the in my mind, there's a place Queen and sure like an easy day So sorry that I left you out I didn't think that you could last you Living in a cold, so pristine The people that make it happen Come on, Tang. Ahora es tiempo de comer, ¿verdad, Silvio? Ya es tiempo de, de ¿cómo dicen? Del lunch. Lunch time. Sí. Everyone's uh, grabbing their food here, which is great. They've been working hard today, so it's good that they're going to eat some delicious meals here. ¿Cómo quedó la carne asada ahí? Rica, digo yo que quedó buena. Mire, frijoles, arroz fresco, la ensalada. Ensaladita. Pues la carne ahí. Sí, el drone ahí. Nighttime is setting here in the mountains and we're still not out of the coffee farm. The workers are going hard. It's time to measure the coffee so they know how much they're gonna get paid and we can load the truck and bring it down into town. So unfortunately, I won't be able to film that because it's gonna be pitch black coming out of these mountains. Thankfully, we were able to spend the whole day here. It's been an incredible day. Shout out to Silvio and his team. It's amazing to see what a good cup of coffee can do. Let's get this video over 10,000 views, 10,000 likes because these people are awesome so everyone can see them across YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And remember, where you drink your coffee from matters.